Both experiments, one using a magnetic field and one using an electric field, confirmed that cathode rays are streams of negatively charged particles. Also, and of course a good physicist, a good chemist, a good scientist tries different setups to see if there are other factors involved. So different materials were tried for the cathode, you've got the same results. They were independent of the material. So in 1897, J.J. Thompson took another step. He used both at the same time. He had a magnetic field, you can see here going into the page, and then he had an electric field going from the positive to the negative plates, and he wanted to learn more about these particles. He and his assistants would adjust the field so that they push the particles in opposite directions. For example, the electric field here would be pushing the negative particles up, and you could have the, ne the magnetic field pushing them down. By adjusting the various field strengths, you could cancel out the forces, and you have the particles going straight through.